always lonely, always looking to get even with the men who did him wrong. That was Billy, lonesome Billy, who was quick to think a gun could make him strong. No one tougher or more daring, only he and his gun sharing. The great fight to live and his great love to fight. A rough man who played with danger, to whom trouble was no stranger, until one day he lay dying, he'd filled his date with destiny. Never friendly, never trusting, always kept one ready hand near his gun. That was Billy, lonesome Billy, the rough man who would rather kill than run. The rough man who would rather kill than run. Where is this, senor? believe me? Then just ask my brother. Your brother? Okay. Okay, I believe you. talk to you. Billy! You gotta stop treating me that way. I'm a man now. Billy, take me with you. You won't regret it. Take me with you. Look, let me show you how I handle this. Here, watch this. That's about as good as you can do with a six-gun. Uh-huh. I don't ride around for my health, you know. 
I know, Billy, but take me with you. If they didn't hang me yet, it's because I always took care of my own business alone. Without witnesses. <sighs> Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. Proverbs. Oh, you and your Bible. I have information that's worth $30,000. Are you interested? But first, you gotta promise that you'll take me with you. There's a little town about 35 miles across the border. And in the bank, there's a safe with about $30,000 in it. Tomorrow, the whole town's gonna be in church. You know why? Because the sheriff's getting hitched. <laughs> Billy, we could be down there, pick up the dough, and in a couple of hours, we'd be over the border. Do you want to know where this place is? You interested? Uh. River town. I don't like it. We were born in that town. Well, so what? Are you getting sentimental all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Lonesome Billy getting tenderhearted. Or is it because you're scared of Pat Garrett? I'm not afraid of no one, including Garrett. Billy! Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back later. It's all right. I was just going. I'm so glad you're back. You want to do me a favor? What is it? Let me alone. A word or two before I continue. All of us in Rivertown are grateful to our friend and sheriff, Pat Garrett, who has met his match at last. <laughs> now as he's about to begin his brand new career as a husband, I'm sure you'll all join with me in wishing him and his lovely bride good luck and every happiness. Do you, Patrick Garrett, take this woman, Martha Coogan, to be your lawful wedded wife, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. Let's lock up and go over it. Okay. I'd like to wish them luck anyhow. This, the whole town will be wiped out. That's the life savings of our people there. <gasps> George Clanton. Too bad they recognize you. Now we'll have to get rid of them. Go ahead. No, use your knife. They'd hear the shots. Kill him. I can't do it, Billy. I can't. Johnny! Johnny! 
Mexico has become too good a hideout for outlaws these days. I've got to put a stop to it the only way that I can. It's not exactly the best moment for it, is it? No, my darling. It isn't the best moment. All right, let's get moving. For. That's Mexico on the other side of the river, Pat. We're already 20 miles beyond the county line. We're chasing a couple of killers. We can't stop now. Over there, Pat, we ain't the law, and then Mexican rurales don't take kindly to us know how. If these men get away with us now, you know what it'll mean? Same thing will happen in every town on the border. It's your duty. At $20 a month, our duty ends here. Sorry, Pat. Uh-huh. Well, I can't force you. But at $30 a month, I've got to bring those men back. Hmm. I'm thinking that Martha Coogan is about to become the youngest and newest widow in Rivertown. Good luck, Pat. Garrett. Like the good book says, the bridegroom cometh.
What is this? Playing war? You're American? All right, don't answer me. But you fired at me and I'm a sheriff, so I'm arresting you. You're the sheriff? You're not one of Santero's men? Hands up! <laughs> Looks like everybody's against me today. Don't be afraid of him, Magnus. He's an American sheriff. I'd better introduce myself. I'm Pat Garrett. Oh, you're the sheriff from Rivertown. Pleased to meet you. I'm Mike Goddard, and this is my sister Agnes. Howdy. Do you two make it a habit to shoot at anybody you don't know? We thought you were one of Santero's gang, Mr. Garrett. He's a Mexican outlaw. We're on our way to Corona. Our wagon's right over there. When we saw you with that gun, we figured you were one of them. I had an accident and lost my horse. Suppose there'd be room for me? Sure thing. of a pistol has a special sound that a trained ear can't miss. Lucky for me, back in those ruins, you didn't know about that. You have to pull the hammer back slowly, like this. See? Uh -huh. Can I try? I'll know how to do it right next time. Just listen to how he talks. He's right. He's old enough to learn to use a weapon. No, I meant Mike always speaks just like his mouth has some rocks in it. That's why we're going to Corona, on account of his teeth. We're going to see Dr. Martinez. He was a friend of my father. Was? Is your father dead? Mm -hmm. Our mother, too. We just have each other. Papa left us a small ranch ten miles from the border. Mike and me have been running it by ourselves. We're doing real good with it. Mm. Are you alone also? Don't you have family? He's got a ring. He's married. Uh, I didn't see. Just today. Four hours and 20 minutes ago. If you don't mind, I'd rather get off here and walk in. I have good reason for wanting you into town some other way. Well, bear in mind, if you need anything, our ranch is just off the main road between Devil's Valley and the border. So long, Mr. Garrett. Come see us. I'll do that. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye. Get along there! Ha! So long, Cheryl. your tequila, George. Did you ever see anybody die right before your eyes? Oh, see, one time I saw this. When my mother-in-law died, with God's blessing. <laughs> I've seen three men die all in one day. Murdered. I'm a coward, you know that. Coward, George. Take it easy.
I had my knife in my hand, and the blade was open. But I couldn't kill them, do you understand? I couldn't, Manuel. I can't kill a man just like that. See, si, amigo, I understand. <laughs> no, but you must try to take it easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, senor, but my house is full. There are no more rooms. But I will give you my room, senor, if you wish. No, thanks. I don't want a room, senor. But tell that boy in there I want to see him. Just show him this. See, si. Will you come in, senor? I'll wait here. George, it's finished now. Your party's over. I'm coming back to Rivertown with me. What are you doing here? You're dead. Pat Garrett's dead. No, not yet, son. Right, now, where's your brother? I won't tell you. You gotta tell me where he is? No. Fuck, where is he? Billy's upstairs with a woman. If you say one word, I'll put a bullet in you. seen you or your brother Billy for a long time. Glad I caught up with you. to death. No, this looks bad. It won't kill you. You're more likely to be dying of a sore throat, hanging from a tree. I didn't kill anybody, Garrett. You tell him that at the trial. I'm not the judge. I'm just a sheriff. You've got no right to arrest me here. We're in Mexican territory. You have one bad habit, George. You talk too much.
They must have gone this way. They'll most likely head for the border. We'll have to telegraph the border guards to stop them before they cross. See, sir, Handel. How these men look? I didn't see them so good. But this last one who came, he was dressed in black, a gringo. He was very tall. He had the face of a real criminal, I think. Vaminos, we may still be able to catch them. Calm down, take it easy, Billy. You and your brother are both my prisoners. get out. Before you try any funny business, remember it'd be easier for me to kill you right here. Get going. Try that again, Billy. Move. Wait. hurts me too much. Garrett, you gonna make us walk back to Rivertown? Ain't going back to Rivertown. I think you're going back hard. I know the law, Pat. This is Mexico, not the United States. Here in Mexico, you're not a sheriff. You're nobody. I'm still gonna kill you if you try any more of your tricks. The minute we meet a Mexican border patrol, they'll set us free. You know that, Pat. I wouldn't rely too heavy on that. The route I intend to take, we're not liable to meet any border patrols. What? You're gonna cross the Devil's Valley? You must be out of your mind to think that you'll make it on foot. I didn't say I was gonna cross it on foot. Now get moving. Where can I find your boss? I need three horses and food and water for three days. You heard this, Senor Pablo? See to it. See, si, patron. How much is it? Two thousand dollars, Senor. Are you crazy? Two thousand dollars for three horses? No, my horses are not worth so much. Of course, two hundred dollars would be high. Twenty dollars would be plenty for the food, Senor. The water is expensive here. Forget it. One moment. Just remember this, Senor. All the water is free in the village. But there are also many bullies there, eh? You'll have to give me a receipt for the 2,000. Naturally. I'll make it out for you right now, senor.
Senor. How much for these? Nothing. Consider it as a gift, senor. <laughs> Pablo, saddle up my horse. You're smart, don't you, Pat? But well, let me tell you something. The desert's tough, and so am I. I've got 21 notches on my gun, and before we reach the border, I'll have one more. Don't waste your time bragging, Billy. The desert's tough, tougher than both of us. I, I can't go on. My arm. Oh. Get down. <laughs> Santero, I must see him. He's upstairs, senor. I must speak to you, Santero. Who is it? Cantus. Sit down, Cantus. What's it all about? Mucho dinero. Thousands of dollars. Gala, get out. You, Miguel. Stay. All right, talk. The bank was robbed yesterday in Rivertown, Santero, and I know where the money is. Over $30,000. Will you give me 10% if I tell you where? <laughs> so you want 10%, eh? The trouble with you is you're much too greedy, Contest. But we can make a deal. Go on. Now that the bullet's out, the wound can heal. This is gonna hurt you. You better bite hard on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all right, George. Now, when this arm heals, you'll be able to use it as well as you ever did. I'm gonna be sick. I'm sick. Uh -huh. Two friends of mine in Rivertown under six feet of dirt are worse off than you are, my boy. But I didn't kill anyone. I couldn't. Billy, you tell him, please. Tell him you did it. Sure, I killed him, kid. But what's the difference? I'm not hungry, just thirsty. Can I have a drink? Coffee? No, water. Hey, uh... Looks a lot better. When we get to Texas, the doctor will look at it. A regular nursemaid, huh? You're feeling sort of kind-hearted tonight, ain't you? <laughs> Why don't we have a little chat, you and me and the kid here? You got married yesterday, didn't you, Pat? That's right. I've been married 32 hours. <laughs> but you had to leave right after the wedding, huh? Tough luck. I mean, not having a honeymoon. Still, probably it's all for the best, Pat. 
on account of most likely you ain't gonna come back to her alive. But just supposing you make it, what do you have to offer her, Garrett? Huh? Your wages, huh? A measly thirty dollars or so a month, that's what you make, ain't it? And then you'll start having kids. Two, three, four. Da 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 da. I know you, Garrett. You want a whole flock of brats. I can just see you getting poorer and poorer. You ain't smart, Pat. I know. Thirty thousand is a lot of money. You can divide it three ways, isn't it? That's right. If you split with us, who would know the difference? There's still another possibility. I, Pat Garrett, who you think is a crooked sheriff. Fire two shots. Nobody'd ever know the difference. I'd have the whole thirty thousand to myself. Twenty-eight thousand, that is. Hmm? We're ready to attack. Would you give a word? No. We wait till they are asleep. Then there is no risk. Those two must have been part of Santero's gang. There's sure to be others. This is what they're after. That fellow I got the horses from must be an informer. If they get the jump on us, they'll kill all three of us, so we've got to take turns keeping watch. You first, Billy. Now do we attack? No. Now we can no longer surprise them. And besides that mesa, the run is like a fort. So we must wait. No, this is not the right moment, Miguel. But have patience, our time will come. Vamos! You're getting old, Pat. You get tired too quick. Are you thirsty? Why not have a drink? I'll wait. Have a drink if you want it. You're the sheriff. Come on. Go ahead. We're not thirsty. <laughs> we still have a long way to go. We all have to hold out till tonight. 
Please let me have some water. I've got a fever. At least let me wet my lips. I told you I wasn't thirsty, but you will be that. Get going. Billy, why'd you throw away our water? <laughs> our friend Garrett's trying to figure that out too, kid. Maybe it's because I wanted to. Hey, Garrett. Me and George ain't been back in Rivertown for a long time. How is everybody there? How about that old drunk, Doc Jacobs? Is he still alive? Yep. And Callowell, the preacher. Does it still take him two hours to finish the sermon? Hmm. Tell me, Garrett. Who'd you marry? Martha Coogan. Martha Coogan, huh? George, did you hear that? Uh, so what? So you got yourself hitched to Martha Coogan, huh? <laughs> After everybody turned her down but me, I left before it's my turn. Really? Why you? Why don't you fight like a man? Go ahead, untie my hands. You still got your pistol. We're even. Like I promised you, Garrett, I'm gonna kill you. I don't know if I'll shoot you or leave you here in the desert. Stop. That's as far as you go. You ask. I may be old, Billy, but I'm not foolish. <laughs> now you mount up and don't try any tricks.
there, quick! It is our friend, Miguel. That money is much safer out there than in a bank. Vamanos! Here, at least we'll have some shade. Hold it. Oh, I'm hungry. When do we eat? You out of your mind? All we've got is salty food. <laughs> you know, Gerd. I saw a man die of thirst. He was just about your age. Hmm. First, he swelled up, you see. And then he went clean off his head. And he yelled. He was yelling with his mouth sort of open and a swollen tongue like this. <laughs> he put on a real good show before he finally died. Billy, tell me. Why'd you do it? A water. I shouldn't have took you along, George. Stop acting like a baby. <laughs> Garrett. Oh, Garrett, please. Find something to drink. I have to drink. I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> Psalm 65, David. Thou hast remembered the earth and watered her, greatly enriching her with the river of God that is full of water. Billy, stop. Oh, King Solomon, Psalm 72. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and the moon endureth through all generations. He shall come down like the rain upon the mown grass, the showers that water the earth. On your feet. What's the matter? Snake? Don't move. What's Why? wrong? There's a rattlesnake under his blanket. Shoot it. Oh, if I shoot, I'm more likely to hit George than the snake, and he'd bite him anyway. Hold still.
money. Yeah, Billy got away all right, but he didn't get away with the money. I put the money in here while you slept. Let's get going before the sun gets any higher. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this gringo sheriff. There are only two of them left, Santero. Why don't we attack them right now and get this business over with, huh? Now we're too few to attack. Till the others reach us, we'll keep following them, Miguel. They won't hang him. Naked came I out of my mother's womb. Naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. George, here's his Bible. Come on, George. Get up. We've got to go find some water. Come on. He's done for. Get on my horse. find a lake, a cool lake, with a waterfall. I'm gonna drink for a week. There's no lake. Save your breath. Huh? No lake? How do you know that there's no lake? Then this isn't the right direction. They wouldn't call it Devil's Valley if there was a lake in it, George. And I know we have to cross those mountains there. Billy knows the way. We'll go to Chihuahua where nobody can find us. Yeah, sure. Me and Billy, he'll show me how to use a gun the way he does. When we get there, look, Billy. Look. Do you see it? A town. <laughs> look. A real town. First, we'll go to the saloon. Then we'll get a room and have a good bath. There's nothing here, George. It's a ghost town. And we've got to keep moving if we want to cross those mountains by sundown. <laughs> Look there. Barber shop. Hey, I'm going to get me a store-bought shave. See? There's a tailor. I'm gonna buy me some new duds. Look, Billy. Come on, let's get a drink. That's the last entry. Must have been a mining town. I guess it just died when the ore was all used up. Dead. Dead. Try to pull yourself together, George. Come on, let's go. The whole town's dead.
Head for that mine over there. I'll cover you. But they'll kill me. Go on. I can't reach him from here without a Winchester. Come on out. What are you waiting for? Hey, look what we got. You must be thirsty. You like a drink? <laughs> across the desert? Is that it? Hey, you're talking a lot better. Look. Hi, Pat. What happened out there? An accident. Who's he? A friend of mine. How terrible. Come inside. Oh. wound looks awful. It's nothing. Nothing? It's very bad. It's all inflamed. Bring me some alcohol, bandages, and lots of hot water right away. We yes, haven't much time. We have to get oh. moving. But, Pat, you can't move him now. You better wait till his wound heals. Listen, you know what's in this bag? $28,000. And Santero wants what's in here. If we stay here, you'll be in trouble. What do I care? Are you trying to scare me? I'm ready. I got my pistol. Your friend's much too weak to move yet. Let's go, Pat. I'm feeling much better. Oh, Pat, help him. Hey, 
Thank you. Keeps perfect time, Pat. I bought it myself. With the first dollar I ever earned. I'd say that clock was a pretty good buy, Mike. Uh-huh. Like some more? No, thanks. La 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 Isn't that old Alice? Mm-hmm. I used to play it all the time. How about playing it for us? You played real pretty, too. Thank you. It's a fake. Anybody can play on this. See? <laughs> mm. Wait till I get my hands on you, you little tattletale. Who's this? Mother and father. Aren't they lovely? They were very happy. I'm sure you'd have loved them. Are your folks still alive? No, I've been an orphan ever since I was a kid. I've just got a brother. I had a brother. Oh. Look here. Here are some of my father's things. Here, this was a his cold. gun. Let me feel it. It really is something, ain't it? Here. Put it away. George, what's the matter? It's nothing. Finally getting some sense, eh, George? George, will you help me? Well, I'm willing to help, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, it's real easy. I'll show oh. I'm sorry. That's it. Everybody keep down. Joe. George, put out the lights. Of. 
I should have known he wouldn't give up that easy. Pat, where are you going? I'm going out there because your lives are worth more than this money. No. You don't know what Sintero's capable of. Even if you gave him the money, it wouldn't be any use. He'll attack the ranch anyway and kill us all. That way he'll be able to get rid of dangerous witnesses. Bar the door. Agnes, get the ammunition. All right. Mike, you go in the other room. Yes, Pat. Here, George. Hold it. Hmm. All right. Now these gringos are too many for us. We can do nothing till Paco gets here with the others. He should be here real quick, I think. He rides like the wind when he gets a smell of money. See, you're right. He'll be here too quick. That's what's wrong. What do you mean? We have only five men left, but Paco is 20 men. We'll get full shares if they will help us. Still, we should wait. No. I think there will be only three or four of us if we attack again. I have a plan, Miguel. See? They're coming again. Oh, my. Oh! Here. Swallowed some smoke. Ramon, Jose, let the horses out of the barn. Si, Quick. on his horse. Don't waste him. 
We must wait now for the others. What are they waiting for? They've got us trapped here. Just let me make sure they're not stones again, Gringo, eh? Huh?
Take his mount. Are you Sheriff Pat Garrett? Yes. Captain McKenzie. You got here just in time. You can thank George here for that. Even with his arm in a sling, he rode nearly 20 miles to come and get us. He's a good boy. <laughs> what about that robbery? All the thieves are dead. Are you coming with us? Uh-uh. I've got to get this money back where it belongs. What about you, George? You going back? I, uh... I'd suggest you stay on here with Agnes and help her rebuild the farm. Thank you. <laughs> so long, Mike. Goodbye. Bye. Always lonely. Always looking. To get even with the men who did him wrong. That was Billy. Ruth! Ruth! Quick what? to think a gun oh. could make him strong. No one tougher or more daring. Only he and his gun sharing. The great fight to live and his great love to fight. A rough man who played with danger. To whom trouble was no stranger. Until one 